What is up YouTube, it's Chaotic here, and today I'm going to give you a little hardware review on my new headset, the Razer Kakaris. Um, it is a headset, a dual headset made for both Xbox 360 and PC, and my reasons for buying this headset was A, I needed a nice headset for both my Xbox and my computer, and I didn't really want to buy two expensive headsets, so I just decided to try this out. Um, number two, it wasn't a very expensive. I spent about seventy dollars on it, and um, you know, for your money, I feel like it's worth it. If you if you're on a lower end budget, where you don't have the money to spend on the Megalodon or Timat or any of the higher up headsets, this is definitely a good way to go. Um, the packaging is a little extreme. I feel like um, it took me a minute to figure out where everything was, and kind of took the audio out of this video because right here I get a little mad and start cursing so <laughs> I had to cut that out and also the audio was kind of bad um overall it's a really nice headset I like how it feels on my head it's super light uh, the microphone works well I'm actually using it right now to record this commentary so there's a few audio levels that you might have to play with in your computer to fully get it to work correctly um, the the cushions on the ear pieces they're really nice um, feel really comfortable on your head you can wear this headset for hours and barely know it's there um, on the other side though I've had a few issues um, a few little some hissing not on my end but on people's end and I'm talking to in Skype uh, I was talking to my roommate and he had to change some things and it might have been his on his end on his computer but because it went away after a while but I'm not really sure um, also uh, when you play louder music it uh, tends to crack um, you know it kind of I don't know if the motors are just not made for higher end playback um, but it starts popping with the bass and stuff so you kind of have to play with it to get it to where you need it um, yeah, in the book, and it expl explains how to hook it up in the book through both PC and Xbox, and both ways through Xbox, through both the, if you're using components or if you're just using HDMI. So that's a nice little fact that they give you all the adapters that you need to hook into both um, HDMI and component hookups. Uh, the one thing I didn't like is on my past headsets, they have a dedicated <laughs> block a USB that creates its own sound card and in this it doesn't have it it uh, just has the normal hits 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and microphone jack and a USB power it has a little mode like that little power the um, block right there to run it but I like to be able to plug into a USB um, another thing I didn't like a cable not braided that's kind of an issue with me <laughs> I'm a fan of the braided cabling it feels more durable better tougher doesn't bind up doesn't catch on stuff also as you can tell right here when I'm taking it apart there is about six to nine feet of cabling um, I don't know what their decision was there maybe for if you wanted to play your Xbox from across your room um, but most people that are using a headset like this probably aren't playing across the room they're probably playing on a monitor for uh, like a higher level gaming um, as you can see here, all the components are there, the inline for composite and the, the extra block for using HMI to plug into the original component um, slot to get your audio out of it. Coming into your headset so you can actually hear people, the actual in-game audio so you can hear people walking and hear catch people before they come around the corner. Um, so that's really nice. Um, other than that, I don't really have much other than to say that there's more coming soon. I'm still giving away my Razor Nostromo. That's still going on. I'm just waiting on more views for it. Um, I also, before this, released a video about a controller that I modified, and it has 40 caliber um, shells for buttons, and I did a few other little things that are I thought were really cool, and I like it, but I'm getting a Trip and Mods controller pretty soon, so I'm probably going to give that away in a video. But I haven't really decided yet, so if you guys want me to give it away, go ahead and comment on here, and if I get enough interest in it, I'll just do a giveaway and give it off to some lucky fan, or a person on YouTube, if you're not my fan, which is fine. 
Um, but yeah, so this is chaotic, and this has been another video, and I will see you guys soon. Alright, peace.